This man drove trucks for 35 years. He was married for 16 years. He worked hard and saved up his money and paid cash for a $250,000 house. This man ended up homeless. Let me explain. I, I got a bone to pick with this so-called wife of his. Shit, pick that bone. Look, because first of all, all she had was the title. She wasn't no real wife. She had a bone on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My whole thing is, is like, how he not even guy. recognize, you a mess. How he not recognize <laughs> the signs that, come on, that she wasn't dealing with somebody else. Video number two? Video we number slide, two. We slide, two. We slide number two? Two. Come on, T, say it. Dos. Close. That was real close. You know Ain't what, no man? We, we, we still give it a prize. Yeah. We still give it a prize. Yeah. She hit it, y'all. For <laughs> because CJ is just a hater. Say, go ahead and say it, CJ. It's dos, not dos. Dos. I said dos. <laughs> you said dos. <laughs> All right, look. I said dos. A father paid two hundred fifty grand cash for a house and ended up homeless after he retired from his job. The hell? Ain't that some shit? Let's find out what yeah. happened. Is that how you do that? Yeah. And T. It's and T. <laughs> oh. Let's go. This man drove trucks for 35 years. He was married for 16 years. He worked hard and saved up his money and paid cash for a $250,000 house. This man ended up homeless. Let me explain. Most of this man marriage, he was an over the road truck driver. He would stay out for three to four months at a time and come home for two weeks. Him and his wife had a beautiful relationship. She understood his job, so she never complained about him being over the road. They had three children together, and they didn't like anything. They was well taken care of. Eight years into their marriage, they will always rent a house until the husband did the unthinkable and surprised the wife with a brand new house he saved up and paid cash for, $250,000. As the husband would drive trucks over the road, he started to develop health issues. He struggled with his weight, diabetes, high blood pressure, back issues, and many more issues. So one time the husband came home from over the road. He had a long talk with the wife. He said he was thinking about quitting trucking because it was taking a toll on his health. When he told the wife, she wasn't too happy about it. She kept questioning him, what is he going to do for income? He told her maybe he can start a little business or something. But he said he was very happy that he'll be able to be home every night and spend time with his wife and his children. Plus, he has so many doctor's appointments due to his health issues. So it's just more convenient and it makes more sense he do something at home. So he stayed over the road for another year until his health just couldn't take it no more. And then he retired. He was very happy he retired. It was a huge relief off of him. Also, he felt very comfortable retiring because he paid cash for a house. The only thing he had to worry about is paying taxes. When he retired, it was different. Him and his wife never spent that much time together. So three months after him being retired, him and the wife was button heads on everything. They couldn't agree on nothing. It was like they was different people when they was living together. It got to the point where the wife wouldn't even sleep in the same bed with him. Because he had sleep apnea and sometimes he wouldn't wear the mask since he wasn't driving trucks anymore. And when he didn't wear the mask, he would snore all night and the wife couldn't sleep. She hated that. So she started sleeping in another room. It got so bad where him and the wife wouldn't even talk. She wouldn't even cook for him. Sometime it would be so bad he would consider going back over the road. A year after he retired from driving trucks, the unthinkable happened. His wife divorced him. The house he saved up and paid cash for, $250,000. He lost that house in divorce court. He had nowhere to stay. He slept in his car for two months until he couldn't take it no more. And he was forced to go back over the road and drive trucks. After his wife divorced him, the only time they would talk is if it was about the kids. When he went back over the road, he stayed out for three to four months like he normally do. And he came home. He decided to pick up his children and get a hotel so they can spend time together. He tried to call his ex-wife, but she didn't answer the phone. So he just popped up at the house to see if he can pick the kids up. When he knocked on the door, another man came to the door. And she came rushing to the door saying, why you didn't call? And she had a ring on her finger. The ex-husband was standing at the door in shock that another man came to the door. And the ex-wife noticed he kept looking at her ring. Then the ex-wife started crying and said, I'm sorry, I didn't want you to find out like this. 
The ex-husband left the house crying, in pain, didn't know what to do. He went back over the road and drove trucks for several years until one day he died in his truck. And you know what? A lot of people that drive Damn. them trucks, they die in them trucks. They they in them trucks for so long. I mean, that's li you live. That's hard work, man. Living First on the of road. all, okay. You know what? I, I got a bone to pick with this so-called wife of his. Shit, pick that bone. He, look, because first of all, all she had was the title. She wasn't no real wife. She had a bone on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My whole thing from, is, is like, how he not even guy. recognize, you a mess. How he not recognize <laughs> the signs that, come on, that she wasn't dealing with somebody else? Because it was apparent once he came home, but at the end of the day, yeah. it sounds like what she wanted was his money. Because my thing is, is as your spouse, you have certain duties to fulfill. She didn't fulfill those duties. He did his as a husband. She didn't do hers as a wife. Well, she had no intentions on, on she doing Obviously it. not. She sounded like she just wanted his know, money. You know what that was? As soon as he retired, she said, shit, I can't do get my cheating on. Because you know, that's you know what, what I mean? she was doing. Because yeah. a lot of times them chicks, especially if they're not serious and you know that he on the road for certain periods, a long periods of time, oh, mm -hmm. they got the freedom to do whatever. That's why she changed up on him like that when he started being home. Because like, yeah. oh, damn, now I can't be around my quote unquote man. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't be around my mess. man, Dingo. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> In the words of the illustrious poget Chris Brown. These three oh fours ain't loyal. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just that simple. At the end of the day, these hoes ain't. You could call me Petty Murphy. You could call me Petty, Petty Wop. Because guess what? Petty Tendergrass. Petty Tendergrass. <laughs> At the end of the day, if I pay, I don't give a damn if I pay two dollars for the house. But if I pay a quarter of a million dollars for a house, dang, and, and you telling dude? me. Into my door. I I don't even care Damn. about that part. I don't even get. I don't even, even got to get there. The day that that divorce uh, judge tell me that she got it, I'm gonna say, all right, cool. Listen, I'm gonna send you on a vacation, and then we gonna just part our ways. I'm gonna send her on vacation, and she gonna come back to rubble. Is that gonna burn that motherfucker down? Be, I, I didn't know. <laughs> well, let me find out. You gonna it. do a T a T boss? <laughs> that's, that was left eye. <laughs> I mean, let's ask Mr. I'm gonna do eye. a T boss left eye chili <laughs> SWV. I'm burning it. I ain't burning it down. I'm blowing it up. Cause burning it down, you could probably put it back together if it ain't that burnt. No, Someone that's getting a firebomb. She <laughs> is the reason why. She is the epitome of why men don't want to get married. You know what? Well, you know what? Uh, hold on. Oh, man, my man Plog. Let me, let me get Plog some quick shout outs real quick, man. Plog Owen. Plog. Plog Owen the building, y'all. Now, this is that, that. See, men, some men be seeing this shit. They be seeing the signs of, you know, you got to ain't shit be. Yeah, but, but they then still don't look do past nothing that. Because of the kids. Man, that's fuck what, them kids. That's why. <laughs> let me tell you something. Man, nine man, times, fuck them kids. Nine out of ten men that I know that that are in those relationships with those women is because of the uh, because of the kids. Yeah, hold up, real, real quick, Wicko. We got it, man. Thanks for subscribing to what's it two one oh one. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hey. we hey. Hey, welcome to the party, pal. Uh, listen, listen. Guys be seeing these signs. They be seeing how these women are, but they still look past that shit. He he probably deep down he probably knew his wife wasn't shit. Come on, man. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, man. Would you say he probably didn't know? No, like you he didn't know. CJ you know has BS. Yes, I would say. How would he know? But she would CJ, there. by the time he came home, how did he not know? But if you want to roll all the time, he don't know that she she finessing all this. If he he driving trucks, CJ, he doing the he he literally said he in there. the video that once he started coming home, yeah, she wasn't once he got little, home, that's but, what I'm saying. But so she built all that up when he didn't know. It would be different if he was around and she was doing yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, that's he different. He got home yeah. and it's like, damn, oh, you different. I I right. didn't know this because I was out working. Right. So that's why it makes it even worse. If he would if he would have known he was there and she started acting different. Yeah, cool. but if he's going and he said he was going for months yeah, at a time, so he didn't know that that was. So that right. makes her even worse. Like, yeah. but see, working, huh? my thing is, I I feel though that some of these guys be knowing that they women ain't shit. He and, probably and did. they be looking past it. And and come see, on now, and you know be, your woman. You and, and they be the ones that, and they shit, be the ones that have to sacrifice and pay for for everything, like not just financially, emotionally, physically.
Like, come on. She just, she literally took okay. everything from him. He did all that work, all those years of, of hard work. She did nothing but stayed the hell home. Listen, let me tell you something. Before I put up a, a quarter of a mil, I'm running a, a quick another background check because I'm going to get come a Come on, now. You ain't going to find no background check. Somebody's personality is not going to be in a background check. Let me check. finish before you start taking off with these heifers. heifers. I ain't taking up for nothing. <laughs> I'm running another, a background check and I'm hiring a P.I., Okay. Follow that heifer around. I want to okay. know who's coming in and out of my house, where she going, because I'm about to put up a... You probably put up a quarter of a mil cash. All right, now, I, need I, to know. I, I agree with the P.I. Yeah, but I need to know. Ain't no background check going to re- reveal all that. Because yeah, but you going you run it anyway. I want to know what time It's a simple want. solution, I, want, I like to know. <laughs> <laughs> simple solution. All right, you, you joke now? <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I want to know. God damn it. What's, what's your solution, <laughs> Simple CJ? solution, two words. Prenuptial agreement. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm not. If I ever get married, I don't care if I got three dollars or three billion. Prenuptial agreement, and guess what? Until it gets signed, the uh, you'll have the engagement one, but the ban, he ain't never getting it. I don't care. No, it's too many. I don't understand how guys even. Shout out to my man Iman Shumper. He going through the same thing right now with Tiana Taylor, about to take half of his earnings. Right. Half she got of the her money. Own money. He, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, how greedy is that? <laughs> and she got his money. Right. <laughs> like, come on, man. Look, that's what I need to be doing. Prenup. I need a prenup. I'm trying. I'm trying to set you up with some of these these uh, Puerto Rican these or these uh, Mexican men. I'm trying to get Let me you tell poppies. You something. I, I, I'm trying to get I you a nice I told sugar you poppy. Before, poppy with a poppy. Told you yeah. before, I don't want the short term. I'm trying to get you a sugar poppy. No, I'm good. <laughs> sugar poppy. <laughs> so we go to the first comment, y'all. Mm-hmm. So our first comment says, if this story doesn't convince you to stay single, nothing will. Damn. Damn. I don't even say I stay T, single. T. I, I, I just don't get it. I'm just a little dumbfounded with how well, you know, let, let dishonest me, people are. Well, yeah, yeah, because, you know. It's just it's just very disheartening, you know, for people to be like that. Well, let me, are you going to make your future husband sign to bring up? I never thought of that. I mean. Shit, you better. Cause this young, we gonna blow the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, look, I don't you know. Better. I don't know. I never thought of it because I mean, my previous situation that wasn't a thing. Like he had his stuff, I had mine, and everything was like a shared mm-hmm. thing. But I mean, I haven't been at that point again yet. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll be your legal advisor. Oh, here I you got go. You. <laughs> I got, I got you covered. I got T covered. Yeah, right. You going to tell me to, to kick somebody out and then uh, women throw their stuff outside on the yep. 31st? Yep. <laughs> yep. Hold up. What you would do to your ex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I left that. I left that, honey. Yeah, you on t- the you 31st. Said you, you, took, you said you took the iron board? I took the motherfucking iron board. <laughs> I took the cover off the fucking iron board. You got nothing. That's the advice you going to give me? Yep. <laughs> You gotta get petty, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm taking one side of the door now. Oh my so you either gonna be in or you gonna be out. How about yeah. that? You ain't gonna be in or do both. You gonna be in or you gonna be out. Yeah, I'm taking it all. God damn it. So shall we go to the next the oh next God. comment? Please. So the next comment says, <laughs> "This story would have ended with me dying in prison, not me, because arson is like a ten year sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have sent yep. her on vacation. That's on, that's so they knew that's they, only ten. So they knew that she wasn't." there so they wouldn't try to hit me with an attempted murder or something so i sent them on vacation and i firebombed the house so <laughs> arson or whatever i think that's like a 10 year sentence let me let me tell you a little something cj don't ever let any of your houses catch fire because you know this is going to be on the internet forever <laughs> <laughs> so listen my rental properties i'm never going to put them on fire that makes me money so you ain't got to worry about that <laughs> you're, just, you're just gonna put the main yeah house. exactly <laughs> i can get another main house the rental ones keep the money coming in so yeah yeah, that one got to go. <laughs> we both be at a shelter. They got to go with the with the with the chick. <laughs> yeah, no, she ain't going. Uh, let's 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 reiterate that. She gonna stay alive. We gonna put well, that I'm out there. Well, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about like she got to go oh, like yeah. out of your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, she bad. She gonna start from scratch. <laughs> ain't and gonna she live should. A yeah, no, well, but then again, well, I guess it's not from scratch if she already got somebody. Hey, whatever Listen, it is, she had, she had a man blowing her back out. 
all the all the years he was on the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, see, but this is shit that yeah, kills guys, me. Guys do the same thing. No, a lot of talking about that. Guys don't be no, picking up on these signs, man. Guys don't be picking up on the signs. Guys, y'all guys. We're not doing speculation. We're talking about this story. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just saying in general. Guys be having a whole wife, girlfriend at home, and be having the variety of other chicks. That ain't the story. We talking about this story. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I got something. I got, I got something. I got something, dog. See? The minute, the minute I switch it off on y'all, then I'm wrong. Because y'all don't want to hear the truth. Let the truth shall set you free. <laughs> yeah, here she go. So the last comment <laughs> says, sound like she liked them gone because she couldn't cheat anymore. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we talked about. The real right. fours ain't loyal. Yeah. They're not loyal. You know, she probably was one of them women that was spending eleven hundred dollars to get Chris Brown. Look, and she pictures. probably was yeah, ugly man. too. Yeah, that's I like. Let's 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 dive deep. She probably was ugly. <laughs> she was probably ugly. Technically, no one on this earth is ugly because somebody obviously thought she was beautiful enough to marry her. So listen, garbage is garbage, right? <laughs> I know I'm not garbage. Even if somebody eats it, it's still garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. So she probably was ugly, like I said. She was, probably was ugly, and that man probably deserved better. <laughs> Rest in he peace, brother. He probably did. He probably yeah. did. That's a shame. It's a shame he had to die like that. Oh, hmm. did, hold on. Did you just? Did she just say that nobody's ugly? <laughs> yes. But every time we pick a nice white man for you, you always scroll past. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, y'all always you trying be, to hook me. You should y'all be swiping right on all those profiles. Yeah. <laughs> y'all be trying to hook me up with these old guys. Like, come on now. I still got a lot of life left. Yeah, we're trying to get you a pension, baby. Yeah, let me tell you something. You I set. got my own pension. <laughs> I want somebody that I can actually enjoy looking at. Like, I'm trying I don't to get you flued out. Yeah. Goodness great. Damn, so damn choosy. Women so damn choosy, boy. Just so like, what? Just, Y'all too. Just like a black woman. Just let like me say, let me tell you something. You you gonna sit here and just settle for just any old woman? Let, let me tell you something. I have done a lot of ugly women in my Oh days. my God. Not really. You know what I mean? What, do you want a 10 or you want five twos? Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no twos. <laughs> Yeah. No but you can have five of them. I'm not, no, I don't care. I don't. I don't want and the, be late. I don't want the variety. Mm-mm. Oh my god, man! Anyway, Mm-mm. any anywho, anywho. Nothing, nothing below a six. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, nothing y'all, and tell us what you think. It's like, what, comment, C, it's what CJ said in the marketplace. Disjoint podcast. Disjoint. Yeah, that's, that's, that's CJ's word. Oh.